How's it going everybody? Aaron here. Hope all is good and well with everybody. Just looking online recently and I did come across something and that has been a huge disappointment to me. I am um, a huge fan of Spotify and have been since 2012 when I did first subscribe um, to Spotify Premium. And I just recently read online and seen a couple of websites and even from Spotify themselves that uh, the very popular app on Windows and of course on Mac uh, algorithms DJ Pro 2 will be dropping uh, their, fit, their Spotify integration come July 1st. So uh, this is a huge disappointment. So I thought I will share some of my thoughts and I've looked on Twitter as well, on Facebook. I saw a lot of uh, very disappointed comments. A lot of people just loved the software. They loved uh, playing their, going through all their playlists where you can mix, match, you can load in all your playlists so they can continually play in their queue and you can change the pitch, you can change a tempo, you can change the bass, make other adjustments as well. Uh, you can do the auto mixing, you can let DJ Pro play all the songs for hours and hours without any interruptions. You know, like when I, whenever I'm doing anything on the computer, whether it be in Photoshop or editing videos for YouTube or anything like that, I like to have DJ Pro run in the background and uh, let it play away, do its thing. I could load in, say, probably a whole playlist with some memories from 2015 that I like or something from the 90s I like and have it all play and play and play on continuous. And uh, see, one thing with the, with the Spotify program itself on the computer and even on your phone, you don't have the ability to play just one track. So if you kind of double-clicked or tapped a song in one of your playlists, on Spotify it'll automatically keep playing and playing and playing and playing and playing you know with DJ Pro you had the kind of option to where click on one song song will play and it's finished and that's it complete silence you know with Spotify itself it doesn't have that and it doesn't have all the kind of options like Sometimes I like to increase the, the pitch of a song up a bit, you know, I don't like, sometimes it'd be too slow for me. I like to kind of change it around, you know, so I'm going to show you a couple of tweets that I've found and um, what I'll do is then I'll actually go into DJ Pro itself, give you a look on it, show you the features, the cool features it has and uh, yeah, you can see what you think then. Okay, and here are some of the tweets that I found of a lot of people have been sharing their views and uh, they're very upset about it. This one in particular, Gus the Winged Wild Dog says that he refused, I still refuse, to live without being able to spin music from your DJ, from your service in a DJ app. And Spotify did reply back to him, they said, hey there, thanks for sharing your idea. Our developers always look for ways to bring better service and deals to you. We'll make sure your voice is heard. Give us a shout if you ever need anything else. Which I have been seeing. They have been sending that tweet to everybody. They're not really giving anyone a direct answer. As Gus did reply back. He says no you are not going to do that. No corporation on this mangled rock ever listens to their customers. That's a fact. And Gus also says, if you really, if you're really going to make sure my voice is heard, you will never revoke third-party access to Spotify ever, and I will still be able to spin music from Spotify in Algorithms DJ for all time. And if you do revoke it in the end, it's proof that you don't care at all. The next tweet is from Lewis Smith, and Lewis Smith says, "Why are you splitting ways with DJ Pro? Spotify is my only way to access music." on this app. Claude says Algorithm DJ won't support Spotify again FFS 
and my own tweet as well that I made on May 9th. I said I said that I was sad to hear Spotify are dropping support for Algorithms DJ Pro. It was fun as you could access all your playlists, cool, add cool effects, key change, adjust pitch and more. Been with Spotify since 2012 and this is a huge disappointment. Which it is. Very, very big, huge disappointment. John D says, I'm really sad that you're ending third party DJ app support. I just recently got into DJing using DJ Pro. Being able to dig into my Spotify library has been a huge creative outlet for me. It has helped me to get through a challenging time in my life. I'll miss it. Jonathan says, tomorrow I'm going to cancel Spotify and just use the free title sub I get from Sprint at Spotify USA dropping DJ was the last straw. Javier has said the only reason that I pay Spotify subscription was Algorithm and DJ Pro software. Tidal and SoundCloud is fine, but I prefer Apple Music, Fanny Music are in Tidal. Aaron also says, oh no, I'm very, very disappointed. As of the 1st of July, funny, that's my birthday. Spotify will not longer support Algorithms DJ Digital Workstation. They are transitioning to Tidal, but what am I supposed to do? Drop Spotify or drop DJ Pro? What will work best on my iPad? So as you can see here, there's a lot of people that are really stuck they're struggling because they're going to lose their favorite program here to listen to their favorite songs on algorithm did reply back to him here he says uh, thanks for sharing your feedback unfortunately it's beyond our control but we're doing everything we can provide users with alternative options you can have a closer look at their website there for specific questions please contact so it kind of looks like here it's not algorithm's fault it is to do with spotify there are the ones that are uh, pushing the buttons here sean tweets whoa this is awful any idea why it's going ahead i still use spotify in dj2 so hopefully that's unaffected as unlikely as that may be sadly Kami says just heard algorithm is not going to support spotify no more for dj i hate this and uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, blah, 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 yep. <laughs> That's a very uh, unusual name, all right. But uh, He writes, what happened to Spotify streaming service? I bought DJ and I love it. But this was the main feature. Why did you remove it? Jose602 says, very big bummer that you're pulling support for Spotify being used with DJ. DRK Light says, I manage, I heard the marriage between DJ and Spotify is over. So now you have to pack your bags to join Tidal and our SoundCloud. The problem is both of those platforms are still not equal to Spotify though. Too bad, which I agree because a lot of the songs on Tidal and SoundCloud are not, are, are should be, I, <laughs> my tongue is getting tight here i i meant um a lot of the songs on spotify are not on tidal or soundcloud uh this is a big one here steve allison says dear spotify why are you blocking apps like dj from streaming your content this counts for probably 75 percent of my streaming just for parties private parties with friends and don't the artists get paid for this? It will be the end of my Spotify subscription. Hashtag bad move. Spotify did reply back. They said, hi, we always take retiring features in Spotify very seriously. And we're pouring our energy into new ways of creating the best experience for our users. We invite you to reach out to your preferred DJ app to understand other streaming, other available streaming options. But they did not get what Steve just said as Steve writes I said my preferred DJ my preferred app is DJ by algorithm algorithm said that Spotify will no longer allow any third party app to stream its content the app I use is not relevant to you the fact that I will have to switch the title is you just you still didn't explain why you did this so yeah they basically just divided Steve's question there and Spotify also replied back to 
replay back there as well apologies for the confusion we can confirm that throughout 2020 spotify will cease to be playable through third party dj apps such as algorithm we're afraid we don't have any further info on this rest assured your feedback will be passed on to the right folks i highly doubt that to be honest with you um, assistant manager pizza express Walking has tweeted Spotify ending compatibility with algorithm DJ software is poor, poor form. Downloading music is an absolute bollock. I didn't have a problem with Spotify treating music like a sweatshop until now. I agree because I haven't downloaded music in a very, very, very long time. And with having Spotify now, I don't need to. I just have it all on the, the cloud, all on the internet. And with having DJ Pro was very handy as well. It was actually like having your own kind of club in your own house, you know, when you can invite friends and family over and have fun and whatnot, you know. Uh, Rhiannon, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing uh, your name right. Apologies if I'm not. Um, Rhiannon writes, why are you stopping integration with third party app party app dj apps like dj pro that's so backwards and will push users towards title and soundcloud it was such a good feature i agree mara vaughn tweets literally opened my dj app today and found that algorithm no longer will be working with spotify after july i am the saddest any one have any other DJ apps that source with Spotify or Apple Music and sadly there won't be the way this is going at the moment uh, Beave writes as well since my algorithm DJ app is losing a Spotify streaming partnership I'm going to switch over to Tidal so there you have it as well Spotify are going to lose a lot of their customers over this um, Cyrus writes as well, why are you discontinuing support to third party app party apps, DJ apps after July as a loyal Spotify user and bonafide bedroom DJ? This is going to have a huge impact on my ability to entertain my biggest fans, my seven and nine year old daughters. Please keep the DJ integration. Integration. I'm <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my words today. Wolf Hayden says, please revisit the DJ apps. I bought the DJ Pro 2 to use it with your app. And now all is allowed is title. I do not want to switch apps and re-download all my music. Please revisit the contract with Algorithm. Thank you. Uh, Sats tweets to Spotify as well. I've heard that there's not going to be integration with algorithm dj software next july are you serious and jq says why aren't you connecting with dj pro anymore they're offering us to port our libraries over the title with three months free subscription but i'd rather keep the integration i have now i'm a dj with a family plan now i have to move all accounts over to title bummer Gaza Stan account says, am I reading right algorithm DJ app ain't gonna have Spotify access. Soon as that happens, I'm deleting all DJ app, all DJ my apps, shake my head, cause what am I paying for? And I'm not gonna subscribe to an extra streaming service when I'm already with one. Uh, Michael Marini, this app's resident iPad nerd, says, I know I'm a month late with this news, but this is extremely disappointing to me as a DJ user. Well, goodbye Spotify premium subscription. And uh, there you have it, guys. There are the tweets I came across doing a search for DJ and with Spotify in the search bar. And those are the ones I did come across to save and upload i do hope um you guys in the tweets there don't mind me sharing your tweets there so hopefully uh, we'll all get heard here from spotify and algorithm as well of course to maybe uh change things maybe hopefully spotify might listen to us and maybe keep the integration somehow some way I'm not quite sure how uh, 
we're going to do that but uh <laughs> we can only try and hopefully spotify will listen to us okay so as you launch dj pro you are greeted with this message straight away it says dear dj user as of july 1st 2020 spotify will no longer be playable through third party dj apps so which means now they're telling you that come july 1st you will no longer be able to use spotify in dj pro but the main functions what i really really do enjoy about this program is you can basically mix all of your spotify playlists so for example if i go down to say um one track here load up into deck one and i can play a tune and i can say i can load another track here in deck two and i can fool around with the the pitch here and of course i have all my adjustments here my equalizer and one thing i do like about this as well is uh you have the opportunity to uh, change the keys the tone of each song which i found very cool you have a filter as well and of course you have your crossfader also as well it does have the ability to drag and drop songs into your cue list so you could be doing whatever you could have a few drinks having a barbecue have some friends over and instead of being around the computer all the time you can basically just drag and drop into your queue and start an auto mix so you can uh, shuffle your tunes if you want playlists so you start auto mix and it will all automatically play all those tracks in your queue in your settings then as well you also have a lot of cool settings you can uh, automatically start playing a song you could automatically jump to start point you can reset your equalizer your effects and your controls by loading each song if you want to turn them up which i normally do and you can prevent the song loading on an active deck which is very very handy too because you can accidentally do that and as i have it turned on it says active uh, active deck protection is now enabled so yeah that's basically it's going to be a very sad loss because um i really i really really enjoy this program instead of using the main spotify app itself for the program on a windows computer or a mac um, you have more of function you have more controls using this you could easily use our keys on your keyboard like one is to activate deck one and if you want then to go to deck two is zero on your keyboard and you're over to deck two so uh spotify i don't know what you're playing at i think it's um, a very bad mistake um it is a very very bad mistake i think on my behalf and a lot of others i was looking through twitter and even on facebook comments there are a lot of people upset about this as you are now moving to a uh, title now and soundcloud so and i actually did look at title myself i did find a lot of the songs i do listen to on spotify is not on Tidal or on soundcloud so that is a real big shame so uh spotify and the guys at dj pro uh algorithm please, please do uh sort something out hopefully you can do something uh, in the long run or maybe 
create maybe a DJ Spotify program or something very similar to this for our own personal use at home. So uh, yeah, let me know your comments below guys on what you think of this change. Are you happy with it? Are you disappointed with it? Do let me know guys. Okay guys, well, there you go. Those are the tweets and that's the video of DJ Pro 2. You can see all the features it has there. Lots of great features. And the way you can uh, use the crossfader and you can change from one deck to the next deck and you can change the pitch. You can load in all your playlists. As you see, I had all the playlists on the left-hand side there. Uh, 2015 memories all my favorite songs all liked they're all there in the, the whole big catalog of the millions and millions of songs uh, that Spotify has I think one thing that is kind of making this happen is I think a lot of DJs are kind of using Spotify like like I know for a fact that uh, Spotify is illegal to use in such as like commercial use like DJs nightclubs and that like you know but what about the poor souls like us at home where we just like to play music you know we can adjust the songs to our liking you can if you have decks you can hook up your decks to your laptop you can be your own DJ at home you know as, as you saw a lot of tweets they said that they like having house parties well that's cool have some friends over, have a barbecue, have a few beers, have a few drinks, chill out, have DJ Pro on with all your songs, you know. It's a lot better than, well, for me, than having a bucket load of CDs and you're trying to find one song on a CD <laughs> and you're like, oh no, it's on the wrong album. No, it's on this album. You're trying to find one song. No, no. With Spotify, for, well, I'm using the the family plan which is like 12 euro and 50 cent a month where two users can use Spotify at once and it's cool the other user can work their own playlists and whatnot and I can have my own playlists and yeah so for me I think Spotify is really great because not only are you enjoying your music you're also supporting the artists as well because as far as I know or heard the artists on Spotify like Taylor Swift and all the rest of the musicians out there to do get paid for each uh, listen you do on Spotify so it's a plus for me and a plus for them I'm enjoying the music and they're getting paid so uh, Spotify start things out please you make us all happy keep the Spotify integration and we'll all be happy then Maybe have the option for Tidal and SoundCloud as well, but keep the Spotify integration because we all we all like it. We all love it. We love playing our playlists on DJ Pro as well. So, okay, guys, let me know your comments down below. Like and share the video. Subscribe. Uh, do as well. Do tweet Spotify algorithm as well. Contact them on Facebook. Contact them on Twitter. I leave all the desirable links in the com in the description below as well so you can go and share your thoughts with them as well guys all right guys thank you so much for watching and for listening and i will talk to you again very soon take it easy